Welcome to the coolest stuff on the planet. Greetings, listeners. This is Catherine welcoming you to our spectacular Halloween episode. <laughs> Nice voice. I like it, Catherine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, your name is? <laughs> I'm Rachel, by the way. So I got distracted by the wonderfulness of that Halloween intro. Well, you know, I, I was trying to get into spirit because, interestingly, Halloween's coming up, and I, I really don't normally get into it, but, you know, I know a lot of people do. You, for instance. I totally do, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, if I was going to celebrate it, one place I'd really look at is uh, Salem, Massachusetts, because they got a month-long celebration of Halloween. And I didn't know that, but now I'm, whoa, so gung-ho to go to, to Salem in October. Yeah, because uh, Salem has really kind of embraced that uh, uh, Halloween kind of spirit because, you know, they're the home of the famous Salem witch trials. Right, which happened in um, 1692 and um, the basic gist of it is that um, it was kind of a public hysteria where more than 100 people were accused of being witches mm -hmm. and I think 20 of them were executed. But it was this whole crazy time in history in that area of the world. Yeah, and you know, for a long time they kind of buried that past because it was a pretty shameful episode in American history. But, uh, you know, in about 1970, the TV show Bewitched filmed a couple of episodes on Salem. And, you know, then a year later, Salem Witch Museum opened. And after that, this whole industry came up around witches. Yeah, the witch industry. Yeah. I didn't know that either. <laughs> I know. Fun. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, if you go there, and I think not just around Halloween, but you'll see people dressed up as witches. Well, pr probably particularly around Halloween. Oh, definitely. But there are lots of um, witch-related events and attractions. I think maybe my favorite is the, there's an annual witches ball. Oh, really? What's that? Which um, you can only get into by invitation. And I guess I was reading that it's booked five years in I advance. I read that too. Yeah, five years sold out. I found this quote about it, and it's, it's a combination religious ceremony, rock concert, and new New Year's Eve party. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. So it sounds it sounds pretty wild. Yeah. What do they do there? I think it's a mix of like your your basic partying, but then like Wiccan related stuff. Like mm -hmm. they do palm readings, and I think there's a séance. Oh. So it's not all like hokey stuff. There is a lot of the actual witchcraft, which we'll talk about in a minute. Yeah. You know what? I have been to Salem, not at Halloween, but uh, at another time in the year. And one of the things that really struck me is they do. They have a pretty big uh, population of witches living there. Real uh, witches. Real witches, which they call Wiccan, you know. And um, there are a lot of stores that where you can buy paraphernalia, you know, spells and, uh, you know, things to for your celebrations, uh, your ceremonies. You can buy those things there. And, um, you know, I went into one of those stores. And it was kind of interesting because they had a little card which you could take, and it kind of gave you a little background on Wicca because, you know, they say it's very misunderstood mm -hmm. and, um, you know, people think they worship Satan and they were very clear that we don't worship Satan, you know, we don't, we don't subscribe to that, uh, that's a Christian thing. So uh, they, they say they worship nature mm -hmm. and, um, you know, those kinds of things. They don't ride a broom, <laughs> you know, which is another thing people think. And, yeah. And, uh, you they know, don't cook potions no, or, yeah. well, not bad potions in their cauldrons. Right, right. They're not trying to, you know, they don't, you know, cast spells on, on evil. They, you know, they claim that one of the, their uh, mottos uh, is a uh, first do no harm, which means that, you know, you don't do anything that would hurt anyone else. So I thought that was really interesting because I didn't know any of that. Well, it's, it's interesting too, because of its negative history related mm -hmm. to which is that actual witches would kind of come there and live there and embrace it. I mean, it's sort of like they reclaimed yeah, it, you know, exactly as a, something that was negative and, and now they've sort of made it their own. Yeah, exactly. I think they said about 10% of the population is actually Wiccan, which is pretty high. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah, yeah. So back to the non-actual witch-related, <laughs> uh, back to the more uh, witchy halloween -y attractions. Mm -hmm. There's some interesting things that you can check out. For example, uh, the Spellbound Tour. Yeah. Which is offered by this famous, she's a ghost hunter, she's a parapsychologist, and she'll take you on a tour of, sort of kind of like ghost hunting uh -huh. in Salem. Yeah, yeah. And it's supposed to be one of the best ghost tours in the U.S. That's what it says, yeah. Another attraction they have is, is this uh, museum um, called Nightmare Gallery, which has a lot of the props and, and famous uh, characters from horror movies are there. So that's also another big one. And there's also... Um, do you want to talk about uh, Nathaniel Hawthorne and that, that connection? Yeah. yeah, there's also, you know, one of the other things that, you know, with that, keeping with that whole history of witchcraft and, and supernatural stuff, um, one other 
famous attraction, this is more literary, is The House of the Seven Gables, which is, of course, a famous book written by Nathaniel Hawthorne. And there is an actual house that uh, his cousin lived in, and that's how he got inspiration for it. And you can actually go and tour the house. And, um, you know, it's kind of a little spooky, and they've restored the mansion. There's a secret staircase inside. So, Ooh, yeah. Like fun. Yeah, so that's another thing you can do. And, you know. So get, if you're a literary nerd. Yeah, exactly. Get your freak on, but in a literary way, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Now, if you're not into any of uh, that, um, in any of that spooky stuff, um, there's a whole other side of Salem, mm -hmm. which you'd probably like. Historically, it's very interesting and architecturally. For example, Chestnut Street is said to be the most um, architecturally beautiful street in America. Oh wow! So it's a national historic landmark. It's part of this historic district, and it's just lined with all of these old houses mm. and, and it really you can learn a lot about the history of the United States and the area just mm. from walking around in, in that area. And it's part of you said of the McIntyre Historic District? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Salem is also has a really long history as a seaport area. It's very, it was very important in early colonial history. And another attraction that you might be interested in is the Peabody Essex Museum which is very famous. It's a lot of uh, paintings in there from the past and you know it's considered quite uh, important uh, museum in its own right so even if it's if you have no interest in all the other elements of Salem that we talked about this is something you'll definitely want to see and I think this element often gets probably gets overshadowed by the other thing exactly so, but it, it, it strikes me as a pretty a pretty cool angle yes. to investigate while you're there yes definitely well, um, that wraps up our spooktacular, our Salem episode. We hope you enjoyed it. Salem seems like a pretty cool place. Yes, it does. Um, and we have articles on Halloween uh -huh. and on Massachusetts. So if you want more information on all that stuff, go ahead and check it out on our website. Definitely. And we're going to have a blog with some links to Salem events if you're thinking of heading out there for Halloween. And we'll see you next time on The Coolest Stuff on the Planet. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And let us know what you think. Email travelpodcast at HowStuffWorks.com. Don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.